What's up guys, Austin awesome Joe here and today we're opening some more Marvel Legends here and so we have this, some of these Marvel Legends rides I guess you'd call them but as you can see we have a Black Widow and a Ghost Rider so these are figures so they come with a Marvel Legends figure as you can see in the Black Widow here so we have the Black Widow figure and then there's also a Ghost Rider up here and then they come with a bike like they would ride or whatever um, so we have the Black Panthers or Black Widows bike here I don't know if I assume this is from comic because this is the comic version of Black Widow so I assume this is a bike she rides around in the comic and stuff and then of course we have ghost riders bike up here that ghost rider always <laughs> rides a motorcycle and stuff um so it's really cool that we got these um i think we ended up getting these at toys r us you know before they end up closing we just went ahead and bought them so let's go ahead and open them and check them out okay so first off we have black widow here out of the package and so she's just kind of plain basic as you can see so she's just in an all black leather suit which of course this is her like kind of like original comic book costume or what she wears in the comics not based off the movie version but she's just in an all black leather outfit you know from head to toe kind of as you can see and then of course she just has her face and stuff but then she does have like the black widow mark so the mark of the black widow spider there on her waist on like the belt area but she has that and then just these uh, metal gauntlet type things on her arms that that's pretty much all that she has on her um then of course a zipper there on the chest because it's like a zip up leather suit but then we've just got her face. So again, this is a comic version, so she doesn't look like uh, Scarlett Johansson or anything like that. It's just a comic book character version of her. But she does have the shorter hair, which I do believe is probably more inspired by the Scarlett Johansson because she has the shorter hair. Um, but I don't know much about her in the comics, though, if she has shorter hair or not. Um, so with this figure, we, she does have the red hair, of course, because that's like a uh, kind of signature of, of uh, Black Widow. Um, but her hair, I don't know if you can see, does not look the best, like the paint jobs on it doesn't look the best like um, right there at the top and stuff it doesn't look like they did the best it's like they took paint and then threw in some black like rub black into it and stuff and wiped it off just trying to give it um, some more like detail than just solid red hair but they didn't do a very good job on it but then we got her face and she's she's wearing the bright red lipstick and everything then of course we get to her suit that we mentioned already and so it's the black and silver and so again she has the zipper there on her chest coming down and then the belt with the Black Widow logo on it and then it continues around there on the back and there's not much more to her than that she's just wearing all black just has normal shoes and feet and everything nothing different about it but she is of course a girl figure so she has some different movements of course they all have the head movements so you can move and adjust her head she's got the shoulder movements elbows that um, are skinny of course because she is a female so they do give them the skinny joints and so they're kind of iffy you can almost yeah bend their arm backwards like the way that they um do it their um joints and stuff and then of course the wrist can move and she does have hands i don't know if you can see them like she's got her fingers out like she could hold guns and stuff and usually black widow you know uses guns and everything but they didn't put any guns in the packaging with her but it's, uh, but i assume it's just so she can you know ride the bike you know put them on the handles and stuff then she does have right under her chest some movement so you can uh, adjust a little bit like um, a little bit like the ab crunches. Then she has of course hips and then upper thighs twist there. Knees, the double knee joints and then the feet do move side to side so you can get her to stand up. Then she, like I said, she doesn't come with weapons or anything but she does come with another head so you can give her more of the classic look of the face with the longer red hair so you can switch those out depending on whichever style you want her to have. And then, of course, she does then come with the bike here. Um, I know it's going to be hard because of the viewing and stuff. But she has a red and, I guess, black or metallic black, gray. I don't know exactly what color you call it. Uh, bike going on here, which I think looks really cool. Again, I've never seen this bike because I don't you know, read Black Widow comics or anything like that. So I've never seen the bike. But I'm sure she uses it because she I know she rides motorcycles in the movies. So I'm sure she does it in the comics as well. But as you can see, she does have the Black Widow logo there on the um, front of the bike and stuff. So it's just all red and black or the, like I said, the metallic gr dark gray or black going on there. So she has wheels and as you can see, it does have some like flex going into it. And of course it does spin obviously because it's a toy bike. Then they have a lot of, you know, motorcycle parts going in throughout here. I don't know a whole lot about motorcycles so I can't tell you a whole lot of different stuff. And then the front as well, it doesn't have the bounce to it, but it of course does twist and you can move the handlebars side to side to get it to work. So you can, you know, drive along with your hands and like turn it and everything. Um, then on the front here, as you can see, we do have like a little glass window and what would be the lights here, but it kind of, you know, gives it like a facious type look or something. Um, you know, it'll look kind of like a face or something. I don't know, like eyes or something there. I don't know. Then we have some uh, uh, rear view 
mirrors going on here than on the other side. It looks, I guess it's about the same. So it looks more detail on this side of the innards of the bike. But then we have, of course, the feet pedal, uh, feet pedals or whatever you call it, the kickstand here that you can uh, push down and stuff to help stand the bike up. Um, I think I may have overdone it. Because if you overturn it too much, it doesn't work as well. Um, but yeah, you can get it to stand up on its own there as well. And then, of course, it shows like the chain and stuff on the bike. And then, of course, the back with the um, brake lights and everything. So it's really cool. I've not put her on it. So, I mean, of course, obviously, you can just bend the figure around however you want to get it to put on the bike. Um, but I'm not going to do that right now. But we have all that. But um, just on the uh, back of the um, box real quick, it says a sleek agent with the wheels to match. Natasha Romanoff cruises into action as Black Widow. So there they just threw him some stuff related to the bike and everything to go along with the figure. But that's going to be it for the Black Widow. And next up here we then have Ghost Rider. So this figure is really cool. So obviously Ghost Rider is a guy who made a deal with the devil type um, story, whatever you want to call it. And so now he becomes this demon. I think it's just whenever he calls on it, um, the, he turns into, you know, the skull with the flame and all that sort of stuff and flame powers and everything. So um, I think that's kind of cool and stuff. And I really like the look of this figure, the way they did it. I believe this is more of a classic look with the dark blue coloring and then the light blue outlines. And I really like that. And I think the skull looks really good which we'll look at here in a second but just for his outfit first again it is like a darker blue and then it's got the light blue outline and i really like those colors mixed together then he's got a metallic blue belt along there that's um just looks like a bunch of like different circles or something i would think they're supposed to be somewhat like skulls or something but you never know then he's got some black gloves to go on his hands there and then um down he's got some black boots as well kind of like motorcycle boots you can kind of see some sort of design going in there on the boots to, you know, be like the straps that go around it and everything. And some straps there on the top with a buckle and everything there on his boots. But then up here to his head, as you can see, it is the um, skeleton head with the flames. So they have flames coming up around his neck there and then on the back of his head as well, kind of like some hair. But we have the skeleton, oops, sorry, it's the skeleton head there, which looks really good. And of course he does have um, the moving jaw, which I think is really cool. I've never seen a figure have a moving jaw on any of the legends like this. So that's really cool. And I really like that, or at least the normal size figures. So that's cool that they added that in there. Of course, you can see the emptiness of the eyes and the nose and everything, because it's obviously just a skull. And I think that looks really cool. And I really like this figure and what they did with it. Um, so that is cool. And then of course, this is a man so of course he does have the head movements which is so the neck is or his neck is just flames in this version with the skull then he's got the shoulder joints upper arms here that of course like the biceps or whatever can move then the double elbows and the wrist that does on this figure uh, can twist and move back and forth it has a joint but like a um, swing joint or whatever that can move back and forth same on both those then we got the ab crunches and then we have the um, hip joints there with the upper thigh twist um, knee double knee joints and then the feet can twist back and forth and it doesn't look I, sometimes the shin like can twist but this one does not so we just have the feet joint on him so we have the ghost rider and then he does come with a weapon he has his chain which of course um he uses a lot in the like comics and movies and everything so he has a chain that with his powers can turn it um into flames or get the flames going on it and i liked it and i think it was the movie version or something he would do it where he'd take it and then like whip it around him and it just completely wrap around his chest and stuff to like store and stuff but obviously you can stick this in his hand and you know do it like he's whipping like which, ah, which i think is cool so that's gonna be fun and then of course to go along with him he comes in with his bike and so this bike you do have some assembly so you do have the handlebars that i'll um stick on here real quick okay so i got him on now so this bike um i really like the look of the bike but some of the stuff they have going on with it i don't like so obviously with his bike he can take any sort of like vehicle type thing and turn it into fire so like the original ghost rider like the really old version would have a horse and so the horse would turn in and have fire all over it and then if you've seen like agents of shield the current ghost rider they're doing in there has a, a vehicle that then turns into flames and stuff so but this version of ghost rider is the motorcycle one and so i did first off this most motorcycle does um uh, match him because he has a it's like a darker blue color metallic blue as the actual bike then it has the light blue stripe going on there that i like um but with this bike we have all these flames going on over it and that's what i don't like about this because these flames they fall off super easy so you move it and these flames just fall right off they have some like little peg 
parks it's going in which you can't see because of all the colors and so like here on the bike it has the two pegs and then you just stick them on there but then you barely move and they don't stick in very well it just holds it but you barely move it and they fall off so that's why I don't like about that and it's the same with the these two back ones they to, um, have a part that slides into the exhaust pipes here and then attach to different parts and have pegs that I can't really get them to go in on the back here um, I don't know if you can really see them. You can kind of see it there. Um, and so they just fall off really easy and they move and everything. So that's what I don't like. I wish they were just made a part of the bike, but you know, unfortunately like that, they just fall off. So on the front here, which is really cool, we have the skeleton skull. So of course we've got the two eyes as like the windshield. And then um, probably those are lights actually, but um, we have the skull as the windshield. And I've got the mouth coming down and then these two parts that come down. I assume it's supposed to be like a mouth as uh, like an extension of the mouth or just maybe some side pieces, but it looks really cool and I like that. Then of course the handlebars that I attach and it shows like gauges and stuff, so it has like a um, speedometer and everything on there. Some handlebars of course with the um, brakes and then one uh, rear view mirror going on there. Then we've got the wheel and of course the wheel's all yellow because it's supposed to be, you know, that it's on fire and stuff. So I do like that part, I like what they did there. And then so the bike does have twisting there on the front. Um, then going into the actual bike, as you can see, we have much more detailed innards of a motorcycle, at least stuff that's recognizable. We have the gas tank there and some pedals and stuff there. The exhaust pipes that come out into the flames, as I mentioned. It does have brake lights on each side that are kind of, usually you want your brake lights towards the back, but, and then... It, on fire so it just covers up so I guess it doesn't really matter if you have a flaming motorcycle then we have a seat of course that just kind of a weird design just like a piece of plastic they stuck on top there then we do have the yellow wheel on the back as well again for being on fire and that's pretty much it, it does have a kickstand here that you can obviously um, fold up into the bike and it's got a much bigger kickstand than the um, uh, Black Widow one, but it has these two prongs here that you know can sit on the ground But then it's also got the actual like kickstand part here that you just push down And so then it would help stand up the bike and more details on this side of the engine and everything So this is really cool, and I really like this um, I definitely want to definitely get them on here posed and everything because it'll be super cool But just for some of the Ghost Rider stuff on the box It says Johnny Blaze fires up his iconic motorcycle and hits the pavement as the streetwise hothead Ghost Rider So as you can see there they kind of um, played up or told you some of this stuff about him And that his real name is Johnny Blaze And so you can obviously just kind of see him on the motorcycle there like that But of course you can't see it But it's really cool And so that's going to be it for the Ghost Rider and it for this video So I hope you enjoyed Again, I don't know if these are called anything special. We just call them Marvel Legend Rides because it's, you know, a character with a ride as in a motorcycle. And we have the Black Widow and Ghost Rider versions. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And we'll see you next time.